You can use a Microsoft Excel drop-down list to display a simple list, though sometimes you need a bit more control. Let's suppose you have personnel scattered across four regions, north, south, east, and west. You want to work with personnel by region, not all personnel. A situation like that requires two drop-downs. One that lets you specify the region, and the second that displays only the staff in that region. Note that this technique works only with a matrix-style dataset. I'm showing the simplest technique, but it's not the only technique. If you Google, you'll find complex and sometimes even convoluted solutions. Once we're done, you'll see that this solution isn't perfect, but it's super easy to implement. If it doesn't work for you, try embedding drop-down controls instead. Here of a simple matrix-style type data set listing representatives for each of the four regions. Notice that the region list is in alphabetical order from left to right. It's the only true limitation of this technique. Representatives are listed on each region, and some of those representatives are listed more than once. I did that on purpose because it makes no difference to the technique. We need two Excel drop-down lists. The first Excel drop-down list will set the condition, the region. The second Excel drop-down list will display the representatives in that region. To the right, you see labels and formats in preparation for creating the Excel drop-down list. To create the region list, do the following. First of all, select H2 cell. Click the Data tab, and then click Data Validation in the Data Tools group. From the Allow drop-down, choose List. In Source Control, enter or select the cells from B2 to E2. Click OK. With the conditional drop-down in place, it's time to create the dynamic drop-down that will display only the representatives from that region selected by the conditional drop-down. For instance, if you select South in the conditional drop-down, the second list will display Mary and Mike. Now let's create the second drop-down. Select H3 and repeat the steps above. Let's choose List from Data Validation. In the Source Control, Enter. Equal, Indirect, H to an absolute reference, and inside parentheses. The indirect function in Excel is used to create a reference specified by a text string. It enables us to create references from cell values. This function is one of the lookup and reference functions in Excel. The formula references the conditional dropdown in H2. Click OK. Each time you change the region in the conditional drop-down, the rep drop-down updates accordingly. Remember that the conditional list of header text must be in alphabetical order. In addition, you'll notice the drop-down in figure has space for four items because the list contains blanks. If you deleted Mary, the first line would be blank, the second line would display Mike, and the third and fourth lines would still be blank. This is one of the things that you have to live with when you opt for an easy solution. For most of us, the two drop-downs work well enough as is. If you found value in this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. If you have any questions or insights, please drop them in the comments below. I love seeing what you come up with. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next one.